Texas Community College in Mount Pleasant. The husband will make better gains than the wife, and that's going to be the key for the husband to stay with the program. But the wife may become discouraged when she sees that the husband is able to increase his muscle so easily and lose body fat. She may be, become a little bit discouraged, but what she should do is just be patient because it will work for her too. You should have come up from your, your start. Tiffany from Boone, one of Tom's right. students, come hopes up. to get married next and, uh, year and is getting an early right. start to make sure she's fit to be okay. wed. Tom shows her three exercises be, to help tone muscles. Like First, her triceps. You're going to keep your elbow in close to your body. Right elbow stays here and then just press straight back. Good. And that's the hinge. Perfect. See how your triceps are working? Next, her shoulders. All three heads of the deltoid. So we're going to start here, and then you're going to be pressing straight up. Good. And never quite locking the elbows. And finally, the upper back. So lead with your shoulder blades. Your shoulder blades come first. Shoulder blades are the first thing to move. Tom says weight training is the key to balancing a body's proportion. The female can lift for her shoulders and develop the shoulders a little bit and the upper back, the way we showed you in those earlier exercises, that will create the illusion of a smaller waistline. And even though she may have kind of a voluptuous figure, that will now be transformed into more of an hourglass appearance rather than carrying all the weight in her hips. Another trouble spot for many brides is right around the middle. Yeah. Tiffany demonstrates two effective crunches. This one focuses on the lower abdominals. And this, and this one works the entire abdominal area. The key is, Tiffany, is that this is not going to take fat away, all right? You know that. This is only to increase the muscle, and this will help you with your posture, too. Losing weight is not an easy task. If it were, we would all be thin. Experts say it takes unwavering focus and unyielding commitment. It's not about willpower. It's about planning. It's about planning your meals in advance, making sure that you set the time aside to work out with your spouse, making sure also that you look forward to your training by changing it up and keeping it exciting. And for Roy and Kim, they are already seeing results. I have a lot more energy, don't get as tired as easily, and uh, everyone tells me I look better. And she does, definitely. Um, I've lost about 10 pounds. Uh, I can tell the difference when I play basketball now. Um, my legs are a little bit stronger. Things don't hurt as, as uh, fast as they used to. And hopefully when their big day gets here, Kim and Roy will be fit to be wed. Now, in putting together this report, I found a book that is a pretty good resource, and I wanted to pass it along to you. It is called The Wedding Dress Diet. I found this book at Barnes & Noble, but it's also available, I found, at Hastings, both those locations in Tyler. It has some great suggestions in it, so I wanted to make sure and pass that along to you. Now, one other note, if you don't own a set of weights, you could just use, like, soup cans. They work great. And the other thing is, if you can talk your fiancé into working out with you, he can provide the resistance that you would get from weights. Like, or, or your co put, Yeah, just put, your, put your hands like this. Okay, so as I push down, you provide resistance for okay. me. Okay. Yeah, start up higher. <laughs> yeah, see, so if I push down, yeah, see, I can feel that in my triceps in the back, and I don't need any weights to do I can that. I feel it in my ears. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Turn around, let me show you one moment. Okay, okay I'm going to provide resistance on your shoulders right here. Okay. So push your arms up. And can you feel that in your deltoids as I provide resistance for you? The deltoids are right okay, here. Okay, thank you. <laughs> no idea where they are. That's for your shoulders. All right. So you can talk your fiance or your spouse into working out with I'm you. I'm tired. <laughs> you get sweat right <laughs> on your there. brow right here. Anyway, the key is just stick with the program and do it together because you're getting married together, so begin that healthy lifestyle and you get together. To, you get to put it all back on after the first year of marriage. No, no. There you go. Okay, you don't even problem. listen to these two. We're going to hey, get into that a little bit later. Just in, in not, not putting it on in the first year of marriage, I guess, will be the next thing, huh? I'm going to interview you two. Don't, don't you dare. <laughs>